Aloha. Welcome to Adventures in Small Business, a collaboration between the United States Small Business Administration, Hawaii District Office, and its resource partners. Uh, my name is Dennis Kwok. I'm your host for today. Um, we have Allison Betzinger here today. Uh, thank you for joining us on such short notice. She's a proprietor of uh, AAA Best Water Company and Paradise Baby Company. Uh, but before we talk about your companies, um, maybe you can tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, sure. Yeah. yeah, well, thanks for having me sure. today, Dennis. I appreciate the opportunity. A yeah. um, little bit about myself. Um, grew up in a small town in Wyoming. Um, went out to the Naval Academy for college. Um, not from a military family or background, um, but just wanted to do something different, um, kind of choose a hard path, I guess. And uh, when I had the opportunity, I took it. Um, was commissioned into the Marine Corps in 2004, uh, so almost 15 years ago now. Congratulations. And uh, so I've been doing that. Um, been married for, almost, for all those 15 years as well. And uh, uh, my husband is an Air Force pilot, commercial pilot. Um, and we have three young boys, eight, six, and one, uh, so busy family. Um, and then decided, even with all of that, that we were going to get into business <laughs> as well. Um, and so we've been doing this venture for about four and a half, five years now. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, tell, I mean, very, very vast difference uh, industries. Yes. So tell us a little bit about AAA Best Water first. Sure. And uh, we can move on to Sure. Well, baby. AAA Best Water um, Company is... Water purification and softening. Um, we got into it not necessarily because that was our dream job or dream <laughs> company, but um, it actually was a good fit. So uh, just some background on how we got into it. Um, we were stationed in Okinawa at the time. We were a dual active military. And uh, my husband and I decided that um, we needed to figure out a way that we weren't going to be tied to the military or tied to the government forever mm -hmm. and wanted to set ourselves up um, something beyond um, you know looking out in the out years um, and knew that business was probably where we needed to go um, big robert kiyosaki fans um, you know his four quadrants yep. and we wanted to get over there into that business and investor quadrants and um, so we started looking at, at what we could do and being on active duty there really is no time um, but we were lucky enough as we got orders to Hawaii, we started to look and um, try to find something that um, we could do as a family. And we actually uh, kind of stumbled upon AAA Best Water Company and it ended up that his parents, my mother and father-in-law, came out, uh, moved to Hawaii with us, took a big leap of faith to run the company for wow. us. Um, so we are gonna go into this um, as a family. Uh, my father-in-law is a plumber by trade. Okay. Um, they had run their own small businesses for years, and they were kind of looking for another opportunity, mm -hmm. and it, um, it just kind of worked out well. It was kind of a God thing, we think. Um, just gave them something to do out here. Uh, they could be around their grandkids, um, help us just with two busy active duty lifestyles. And so we jumped into it, came and checked out the business, um, and it... It just fit and it works. So here we are now, uh, five years later, definitely some challenges in there. But um, they have been running it and doing an amazing job. Um, he does all the technician work, um, technical stuff. My mother-in-law does all the administrative, uh, does the books for us, all that kind of stuff. Um, wow, that's and, amazing. Yeah. So, so I mean, there's got to be some challenges working with family, especially in-laws. Yes. Um, I, I don't know if you want to air this on, <laughs> but maybe you can tell us some of the challenges sure. of working with family members, too. No, it's, it's challenging, but it's been such a blessing, too. So um, definitely not for everybody. Our personalities just seem to work right. together. Um, we actually all live together, which is, you know, common in Hawaii, sure. multi-generational living. Got to um, do it. So, yeah. so it works. Um, a lot of forgiveness, you know, a lot of um, egos go away, you mm -hmm. know, but I, I just take it back to personalities and the willingness to make it work. Mm -hmm. um, everybody sacrifices on behalf of each other and for the company, and it's, it's, it's just worked right. and, and done well. So they've, you know, I give so much credit to them. They've done an amazing job, mm -hmm. um, and it's provided for them and for us, and um, it's been quite a ride. That's nice. So, so um, when you... When you uh, first thought about purchase, is this a purchase of we a did, business? We did, we purchased it. Yep. Um, what were the preparations that it took? 
to purchase an actual business. I mean, sure. there's different methodologies for evaluating company. What was your, I mean, how did you guys go about it? So we were pretty one? naive in, in jumping into it, and we just started Googling, and you know, we found um, you know, websites that sell businesses just like houses, right? right. And, they, and that's where we found it initially, and we just started the conversation with the business broker. Um, had no idea about evaluating. We asked some questions to some, some different mentors of ours. Right. Um, Figured by what the revenue was and, you know, what we could expect um, to have to pay off that we'd, that we'd probably be okay. Yeah. Um, learned a lot through that process. Wouldn't do it the same way again. Right. Um, same way know. in using a broker or same Oh, way? no, we no. could use a broker. I just mean um, we just didn't know enough going into sure. it. We, you know, we wanted to make it happen. We, um, we had took the best advice that we could find. Right. Um, weren't really aware of all the SBA um, avenues, all the help that was out there. Mm -hmm. um, knowing now it, that it could have been a lot easier, and we probably could have done some things differently. But um, we, so yeah, business broker um, actually went and got a loan okay. to uh, to buy it from Bank of Hawaii. Um, pretty much had to sell our first child, I think. <laughs> to, yeah. uh, to Isn't do it that. always the case? With yeah, I mean that was that was difficult, but um, you know the whole thing came together. We were able to pay back the loan, no problem. Um, so are you, did well. you fully pay back the so loan? We have. Yeah. Wow. Yep. And such a short period of time. Yeah, three, it was three years. They gave us oh, three years. Wow. So we said, okay, okay we'll, we'll make did. it happen. That's so. wonderful. Um, so talking about AAA, um, I mean, what makes AAA water, best water? I mean, one of the, you know, uh, why, why would people use that sure. company rather than other uh, sure. water verification companies? So we're kind of a niche. Um, there are several other small businesses on the island that do what we do. Mm -hmm. um, I would say we have kind of one main competitor, and then there's a few others. Um, and there's a couple of the larger water companies that you know of, and you see their trucks around that um, kind of do what we do as well. But we really offer a good customer service experience. Okay. Um, you check out our reviews and... Um, I think you'll see that in there. Um, yeah. We establish relationships with people. We're not there just to sell them um, our system, but we're there to maintain it and sure. continue that relationship with them. Right. Um, and that has just worked time and time again. Um, you know, my mother-in-law's done a great job in sales, but she's not pushy. Um, okay. You know, but that relationship, and that's what we stress. Um, and most of there. your clients are residentials, or do you have commercial clients? Yeah, well? I, I would say about 80%, 90% right now is residential. Okay. Um, we've, we've gotten a little bit into the commercial side, um, hoping to go that direction some more. Okay. There's definitely um, a market out there for it. For sure. Um, for softening and, and things like that. Um, but about probably 80%, 90% residential right now. Okay. So, so there's definitely room for growth. There is, okay. yes. Yep. But uh, it, uh, since you took over the business, or, or since your family has taken yeah. over the business five years ago, um, has the company grown a little bit? We have grown. Um, revenue has grown about, I would say, about 20% um, year over year. Wow. Um, and so, yeah, it's been, it's been neat. It's been a neat ride to see yeah. that happen. So, so it must be exciting to see a business thrive. Yeah. Is it more hours equals more revenue, or is it more just uh, getting to know the industry? I mean, what are your experiences? Yeah, I that? think getting to know the industry. Um, mm -hmm. For us, it's not necessarily more hours. Um, definitely my in-laws put in uh, their fair share of time. Right. But it was kind of finding um, the best advertising for us, okay. how to get those calls to come in, mm -hmm. um, was what equaled more revenue for us. Sure. And then getting into those some of those commercial projects we've been able to do. Okay. Um, those, are, those are great revenue. So. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Now, on the other totally opposite yeah. end of the spectrum from yep. AAA, which is water purification, you have a baby uh, equipment, equipment rental. rental. Not yes. a baby rental business, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Uh, tell us a little bit about Paradise Baby Company. Sure. Uh, core services and, uh, you know, um, how you came about this company. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Paradise Baby Company, equipment, baby equipment rental. So think cribs, strollers, high chairs. Uh, we even do bikes, beach equipment. So anybody coming to the island mm -hmm. um, wants baby to sleep well at night, want to get around conveniently. They don't want to lug everything through the airport. Oh, yeah, um, for sure. They come to us and we, uh, we rent them equipment. It's really a concierge service. Um, we give them a one-hour delivery time. You know, they're not waiting around all day at the hotel for their delivery. Wow. Um, and we get really happy customers. You know, oh. baby sleeps well. Yeah. Um, and that's, you know, that's you all you get can that on for. vacation. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of the premise of the company. We okay. came about it um, actually through the same broker that um, had done our AAA Best Water okay. deal. She actually, um, I had reached out to her because I just saw an advertisement and we weren't necessarily 
looking for something new and to get into again, but um, I had just called her and said, hey, you know, can you tell me about what this is? And um, they had a big warehouse and we were interested in space. Okay. And, you know, again, we were looking at ways to tie ourselves to Hawaii um, as we were getting out of the military. Um, and this just kind of, while it was not anywhere near what AAA Best Water is, mm -hmm. um, the setup of it, everything, um, the employees were going to stick around. Um, it just seemed that it would fit and it was something that we could do mm -hmm. um, and then continue as, as I transitioned. Okay. So, so um, would you say that when you purchased uh, Paradise Baby Company that it was kind of a turnkey business? It was. It was okay. absolutely turnkey. Um, it had been started by a local couple in, I think, 2010. Okay. So it had been around a few years and they were just ready to move on. Um, and so we worked out a deal with them. Um, we just ended we didn't need a loan this time. We just ended up paying for it. Mm -hmm. um, and that the deal was turnkey. Um, the next day I was the owner and, you no, know, we've, it, huh? we've just, uh, we've kept it going. Oh, so. okay. Um, so uh, Paradise Baby Company, a little bit more. Um, do you have to, what are the biggest challenges in terms of, I mean, are there any legal, legal issues that you ran into or maybe equipment issues uh, that people weren't happy with? Or you know, no like? legal issues. Okay. Um, I would say for sure it's, a, it's really, you know, concierge 24 seven type of business. Yeah. And so when you have customers, you know, expecting on time delivery pickup, um, anything for their children, you know, is really important. It needs yeah. to be clean, sanitary, you know, all those things. So just continually trying to meet those expectations mm -hmm. um, is is a challenge. Yeah. Um, we've been able to do it. You look at our reviews, you know, we've... Yeah, um, I looked. They look great. <laughs> well, so, good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, the people we bought it from did a great job building the business, and we've been able to sustain that. Um, you know, so just keeping that 24-7 mindset is, is difficult. And then the other challenge for me has been um, having employees. Yeah. That, um, you know, it's... Working with people is, you know, that's that's what the military is all about. Um, it's relationships, yeah. and it's the same thing in the business world. Yeah. You know, and taking care of taking care of people. But um, I had to learn a new way of, of dealing with people, sure. um, totally different than what I've been used to in the military. Sure. Um, and so, just hiring, um, never firing, but you know, just just dealing with employees. Sure, issues. managing it's, people is yes, a very it, it's a, it's it is a it's difficult. And, and trying to get them on board with, you know, your values of your company and everything, mm -hmm. you know, so that's, that's definitely been a challenge. But. Yeah. So like uh, marketing, I mean, two very different companies, yes. but in marketing, it's yeah. got to be very different too, because one company, AAA, you're marketing toward residentials, local families, or local, yep. um, you know, clients, customer base. And then you have uh, Paradise Baby, where it's really yes. not reserved for <laughs> local right. families. Right. All over the world, we get reservations for Paradise Baby Company. So... Um, I, I would say the basis for both is, of course, the web. Sure. Um, what a powerful tool, right? Um, yeah. So we do most of our advertising on the web. We haven't done any print, um, anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, but Google Ads and Yelp are powerful tools, sure. and we've taken advantage of that. Luckily, we found somebody um, through a business network that does our marketing for us. Okay. Um, has set all that up because you know, no time for me to understand um, <laughs> right. much of that. I'd love to understand more of it, sure. but at this point, right. I really don't. Um, and so that's how we get people is really from the internet. And mm. then AAA Best Water referrals have been awesome for us. Really? Um, we actually pay a referral fee um, to encourage, but um, we get them all the time. Wonderful. You know, happy customer sure. tells their neighbor, they see our truck on the street, right. you know, whatever the case. But so for our residential on the Best Water side, a lot of referrals. Oh, wonderful. So, which is excellent. Uh, so, um, it must be very difficult juggling being, of course, uh, a parent yeah. um, and being in the military as well as owning two businesses. Um, I mean, how do you really allocate yeah. time? I mean, is it like a certain number of hours? You got to do it for AAA, certain number of hours for Paradise? Yeah, I mean, good question. Um, definitely time commitment for everything. And of course, my um, family's main priority. Um, yeah, but, uh, I'm, okay. I'm, you know, no. um, uh, yeah. Sorry, uh, you know, okay. I don't mean to catch you off, Allison, but uh, we're going to take a short break great, and then we'll great. return okay. to that question. Okay. Uh, we'll be back. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, host of Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. My show is based on my book, also titled Beyond the Lines, and it's about creating a superior culture of excellence, leadership, and finding greatness. I interview guests who are successful in business, sports, and life 
which is sure to inspire you in finding your greatness. Join me every Monday as we go beyond the lines at 11 a.m. Aloha. Aloha. I'm Wendy Lowe, and I'm coming to you every other Tuesday at 2 o'clock, live from Think Tech Hawaii. And on our show, we talk about taking your health back. And what does that mean? It means mind, body, and soul. Anything you can do that makes your body healthier and happier is what we're going to be talking about. Whether it's spiritual health, mental health, fascia health, beautiful smile health, whatever it means, let's take healthy back. Aloha. Welcome back to Adventures in Small Business. We have Allison Betzinger from um, Paradise Baby Company and AAA Best Water proprietor. Um, we're just going back to the question that we got. Yeah. Uh, you know, what are the kind of uh, challenges in terms of time commitments? Sure. I mean, so you know, being active duty, that's where you know that's where I am day to day. You know, so um, the businesses take kind of back seat. Wow. You know, unfortunately, okay. well, you know, because my day job is is being active duty, right? And so um, juggling that has been, has been really tough, but um, a lot of weekends and evening hours, late evening after the kids go to bed, um, yeah. you know, doing the books, doing anything administrative, um, those kind of things, being up early to make phone calls if I have to, um, those sort of things. And then, you know, my day from 6.37 until mm -hmm. five or six at night is, you know, with the Marine Corps. Yeah. Um, and so that's been tough to, to juggle. You know, the kids I've had to, Go on a weekend, you know, emergency something, and yeah. you know they're a little disappointed, but they, right. you know, they get over it. They're flexible. Okay. Um, and then just not being able to put as much time as I want to in the businesses. You sure. know, we we knew we wanted to just be able to sustain them until we could give them more time. Right. Um, but it's been tough to not see them grow as much as we'd like to yeah. initially. You know, but it's I'm thankful and we're blessed that we've been able to do what we have. Right. Um, but we're excited to be able to eventually put more time sure. and um, diligence into them. Sure. And uh, that's going to come very soon, if I'm correct. Yeah, I'm uh, transitioning this yeah. summer. Yeah, well, congratulations. Yep. Thank you. And that's uh, 15 years, right? Yes. Said. Okay, yep. that's wonderful. Yep. And, uh, you know, going back to the military, how has the military or your experience in the military kind of helped sure. you in terms of, uh, you know, starting your own business or running your own business? Sure. So, or if it has at all. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I would say absolutely. There's okay. some correlation there, and there's skills that, um, you know, you, I've gained in the military. Um, pretty much anybody, a veteran probably leaving, would, would have. But um, first and foremost, I would say being flexible. Yeah. Um, you know, things are always changing and um, not getting stressed out about it. Um, being able to just kind of stay level-headed and deal with whatever comes your way um, has, been, has been huge. Mm. Um, because in business things are always changing. There's little emergencies everywhere. There's stuff that has to be dealt with. And um, so I think staying flexible, um, kind of level-headed um, in stressful situations has been, has been key. Okay. Um, and then working with people. Yeah. You know, uh, diversity in the military is, is huge. You work with all kinds of different people, learn some emotional intelligence on how to deal with people. Yeah. Um, and that, that translates into business because it's all, it's all a people business in the end. Sure. So. So um, when you transition out, um, you're going to spend a lot more time on your businesses. Do you plan to take on another role or do other things? Or do you see your focus really being on AAA and uh, baby, uh, Paradise Baby? I do see my focus being on the businesses um, as I transition. That is the plan for us. I don't okay. expect, I don't think I'm going to go out and get a full-time job at oh, this point. Okay. Um, the goal is to make these businesses work and um, me putting my time into those. And then the family, um, being able to volunteer the boys' schools and you know, things like that, just stuff that I haven't been able to do yeah. since I've been on active duty. And so. uh, are you looking forward toward uh, transitioning up? Absolutely, I am. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've been blessed. I, um, my time in the military has been excellent. Um, I wouldn't trade it for anything, but um, we're at the point in our lives, uh, my husband and I, our family, that um, it's just time. Sure. We're, we're ready move to move on from nice. it and, uh, and do something else. And New the challenges. opportunity is here. So, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, when you started your business or when you're thinking about you and your husband back in Okinawa, um, did you get any assistance along the way? And you talked a little bit about a mentor or your yeah. advisor. Yeah, so initially we didn't have much help because okay. we didn't really know where to go. Um, but along the way, um, through uh, B&I, we've, we've met some great people. Okay. Um, we were part of that with AAA Best Water. And um, we actually found our accountant through, through that, which has been huge. That was Probably the scariest place for me was, um, you know, the bookkeeping and doing things right. Sure. Um, 
And, and we've just, we've met some, I, I would call them mentors along the way, friends and mentors that are in business in Hawaii, mm -hmm. which is a different place than doing business on the mainland. As you um, know, yeah, of course. So, yeah. um, you know, just having their help and assistance and advice mm -hmm. um, has been great. Um, and of course, we had the help from Bingo Hawaii, okay. um, you know, in terms of a loan, which we never would have been able to do this if it, you know, to get started if it wasn't for that. Yeah. Um, now going forward with all the resources I know are available, mm -hmm. um, you know, it, we plan to use those. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So. And, uh, you know, this is more of a personal level. Do you, what is your kind of uh, vision or your measurement of success? Oh gosh, yeah. You know, everybody's vision of success I think is a little bit different mm -hmm. and a lot of it, you know, money drives a lot of, a lot of things. But, um, and I think maybe that used to be my driver was, okay was money, but it's, it's not anymore. Um, family, you know, and, and money has to do with that. But um, if, if we can continue to run these businesses and support our family, mm -hmm. we don't need to be rich. Yeah. Uh, you know, we don't need a lot of wealth. Um, helping other people along the way, employing, mm -hmm. we'd love to employ veterans yeah, if we could. Um, so if we can sustain ourselves on this island, mm -hmm. uh, help other people along the way, whether it's our employees or our customers, um, you know, I, I think we'll be successful. Yeah, so. I think that's a great vision yeah. for success. Where do you see you yourself personally and your company within five years uh, time frame? Sure. Oh my God. Do, well, you, we'll, do you think about expansion? Or? Yeah, we'll definitely be here. Okay. Um, looking for growth, you know, you can never guarantee anything, or, you know, but um, that's with Mika jumping into this full time, uh, definitely pushing to, to grow. Um, you have to, get, have to get some more mentorship and advice to make that happen. Sure. Um, but, you know, we see ourselves um, expanding AAA Best Water, um, mm -hmm. getting more into the commercial side, sure. you know, like I mentioned before. Um, Paradise Baby Company, possibly expanding the rentals, what we offer. Mm -hmm. um, have a couple other ideas in mind for that, okay. um, for revenue. But um, you think yeah. about maybe expansion into other islands or? We would love to, especially for... Um, for best water, yeah. Um, there are uh, some some of what we do on the other islands, but um, I think that 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 would be feasible. Mm -hmm. um, but it's definitely difficult with the distance and shipping and all of that of kind of stuff. Yeah. So, um, would love to make it make it happen. Um, if that's in the cards, mm -hmm. but okay. I can see ourselves just on this island too. Sure. So, okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, we talked a lot about today about the challenges that you face, but yeah. maybe some good stories or joyous things that you know you got out of. You know, sure. Starting these businesses. A lot of stress. No. <laughs> yeah. No, it's been good. A lot. You know, I've learned so much about myself okay. um, that I never would have um, if we hadn't have jumped into this and done this along the way. So um, I'm thankful for that. Yeah. A lot of growth personally um, mm -hmm. and for our for our family. Um, lifelong learner, you know. So I always like to learn something new. Yeah. And uh, so that, and then the blessing for our family, you know, with my in-laws being able to be here with us. Right. Um, if it wasn't for the businesses, that wouldn't have happened. Yeah. Um, so the relationship my kids have with them That's awesome. and them being able to be here, sure. you know, has been great. So, yeah. Those you really fun. did, I mean, you know, that's really the capturing the spirit of the Ohana. So that's awesome. And uh, yeah. I just want to say thank you so much for joining us today yeah. and talking about your great companies. Uh, you guys should definitely check out uh, AAA Best Water, uh, their website. Uh, you can just Google AAA Best Water. There it is. There it is. And yeah. uh, Paradise Baby Company, which is an awesome company. Um, they do, uh, you know, baby equipment rentals. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see more of Bet uh, Allison uh, in the near future. Yeah, yeah. Thank hopefully. you for joining us. Thank you, Dennis. I yeah, appreciate it. No problem. And uh, we'll see you uh, in a month. Uh, thank you for joining us in Adventures in Small Business. My name is Dennis Kwok, uh, Director of the Veterans Business Outreach Center. Aloha. <laughs>